everyone and welcome to my little series about oil painting mediums. If you are an oil painter and have never used mediums before, then hopefully this little guide will help you decide which ones to use and also which ones to buy. So I really hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and let us begin. I'm going to start with the one that I think is easiest to use for beginners and that is Liquid Original by Winsor & Newton. Liquid Original is an alkyd resin. It has a semi-gloss finish. I would say that out of all the mediums I'm going to talk about, it leans towards the matte side as opposed to glossy. It uh, speeds up the drying time which is amazing for fast workers, for most oil painters I feel, and it has a slight scent. It's not terribly offensive but it smells kind of like varnishy and I would always keep the windows open when I'm working anyway but just make sure that you keep the windows open when you use this because of the scent and obviously because it's an alkyd resin and also I would say that it resists yellowing because over time I've not had any experience like problems with it you must shake it up before you use it because otherwise what happens is you'll put it on your palette and it comes out something like blur blob and it has a sort of liquidy formula that surrounds it it's such a weird and interesting consistency it comes out as it sort of looks like a slug but its consistency is of jelly, so it's very unusual, but you don't need very much. That's what's amazing about this and why it's so great for people who are just beginners. You can use just a little bit and it really, really smooths out the paint. It reduces brush marks. It creates the most beautiful flow to your work and you don't have to use very much so it's cost effective this tiny little bottle though it looks small because it goes such a long way um, this has lasted me ages I bought this months ago and it, it costs I think six pounds 95 which I think is really cheap for a medium considering you can get much more expensive ones particularly if you're, if you're looking at gambling and so I think that this is amazing value and it's really easy to use with some of the other mediums you will have to use I mean, it's kind of a little bit of a learning curve. You have to make sure you use a certain amount of paint ratio because otherwise you can end up leaving streaky marks on your paintings, which is obviously not ideal. It's not difficult necessarily, but it's just something that takes extra getting used to. Whereas this one, I feel like it's so straightforward and it can, it doesn't really matter the amount of resin you use and it does look like a strange colour it's sort of orangey browny umbery sort of thing is that a good description <laughs> like three different colours it looks weird like a strange colour but in actual fact when you mix it with your paint it's completely colourless I quite like the packaging I have read before that some artists hate it because it's got a safety catch clicky thing uh, but it doesn't bother me I quite like it I don't it doesn't you know that's not too bad it does have a tendency to sort of melt around the top and if you leave this for a very long time like years and years without using it I also have seen pictures of it going really um, rancid and disgusting but because I paint so regularly uh, and I think you should all paint regularly <laughs> that problem has not happened yet I'm just going to show you a painting that I've created in Dingliquin and this is coming up in a future video um, when I used it, it was very very easy to use to create all of the details. I hope you enjoyed this little video about Liquid Original. Let me know if you've used it before and if it was any good or if it was really bad because I think it will help anyone else watching this video or looking on it. So yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again very soon.